The primary economic activities of the old Kuwait were pearl fishing and trading. The modern Kuwaiti economy was fueled by the development of oil in the 1950s. This led to large government coffers and a bloated public sector. The lucrative petroleum industries made for a comfortable life for many, but there's now a recognition that this economic model has run its course. Kuwait is rich in oil, you see. And because of that thing, it has a lot of opportunity in that. But we have started about eight years ago with a very big project with Dow Chemicals. And this is called Equate. Uh, it's one of the largest companies in the production of methanol and other byproducts from the oil. And it had an excellent success. We are trying to, to encourage foreign companies really to come and participate with Kuwaitis or even of their own to have some economic establishment here and to produce such things. Kuwait is not giving up on the oil sector by any means, but it does intend to diversify its range of activities across the full spectrum of energy, both traditional and alternative sources, and to tilt its economy towards a wider range of sectors. The country wants to present itself as a secure and open market that welcomes inward direct investment to complement its large volumes of outward investment led by its sovereign wealth fund and the global presence of the Kuwait Petroleum Corporation and its affiliates. Well, there's a lot of unique contribution that uh, uh, come to the to Kuwait favors. For example, the geographic location to Kuwait, to the north of Kuwait, is a huge emerging market such as Iraq and Iran. To the south of Kuwait is the GCC uh, countries. Um, Kuwait enjoy a very long democratic uh, regime. Uh, Kuwait have one of the most highly educated youth in the regions. We have a very strong uh, sounding uh, banking system. We have a very transparent and accountable legal systems. Upgrading infrastructure is key to the wider national vision. Planned infrastructure projects include power plants, refineries, a new airport terminal, railroads, as well as new housing and real estate developments, and even whole new multi-use cities. Public-private partnerships are being utilized to drive infrastructure investment and to support other large projects. PPPs are a new tool for Kuwait after a rigorous framework for them was established in very recent years. Kuwait is the, I, could, I would say, the only country who has the set, full setup for the PPP. What I mean by the full setup, all the single details of how you will launch the uh, PPP projects and what is the required steps from legal perspective and even financial perspective has been described clearly in the law. This framework so far seems to be proving attractive to foreign investors. Foreign and uh, regional and local investors has been shown uh, a huge appetite to participate in the PPP projects. This is, I believe, related that of the uh, PPP project has been presented to them, well studied. It's an ambitious vision, but I tell you this, we've been, uh, as Kuwait, we have uh, many successful stories and I think uh, from now until this vision, there is many milestones. Every, every and each milestone we can accomplish is a, a milestone would be uh, a successful on this path. And, uh, and it would take us to a different level and a different layer uh, and towards this goal. And uh, uh, we are willing to revisit our vision and revisit the tools of that vision in order to make sure that it's a, it's a successful, uh, a, a vision would be a successful plan.